Hi Scorpio, it's Power and Money Tarot coming at you, and this is going to be a reading for your person, Scorpio. It is about them, behind the scenes on your person. This is all about them. Yes, we are, you know, camped out at their best friend's house just to kind of see what they are doing, and of course not, but uh, we have put on a detective cap once again. Hope you guys are all well. These are going to be general reading, Scorpio, so they may or may not resonate. You know, this is for your person, so the cross watcher, please check your moon and your rising, right? Because you can find a lot of information over there. Yes, you can. And let's get right into the reading for Scorpio's person. I feel like right now, Scorpio person, uh, Scorpio, your person could be feeling really grounded in a situation or about something. The turtle talks about somebody who was like grounded, yes. And with the oyster, this is the secret keeper. Your person, this is about like like inner truths, like this is a secret. I feel like your person is harboring a secret over here with oyster. Yes, I do, right? It's kind of like inside the shell where you can't see it. Mm -hmm. Let's see right now, Scorpio, the Four of Wands, your person. Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Your person could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Okay, let's see what we have. You look like you're showing up in the desire position. Let's see, though. We're going to go ahead and clarify some of the cards here. Uh, you know, this has to do with leaving a situation. It does, because the Eight of Cups is showing up. Let's see why the Four of Cups, Wands, is there for your person, right? Let's see why the Four of Wands is showing up. Temperance, wow. And the Knight of Swords. Your person could be a Sagittarian here. We see the turtle, which talks about grounding, becoming grounded, and temperance can talk about becoming grounded, right? Kind of like feeling in harmony with the earth, with heaven and earth, and, you know, uh, between land and sea. It just talks about feeling a harmony in general with the universe. I feel like this could be about a Sagittarian, though. I feel like it could. Knight of Swords... This is their energy. Let's get another card. Why do they have the Knight of Swords? They could be feeling harmonious in a union. I'm just not seeing that with the rest of the cards. So let's see. Three of Swords. You see, this is what I'm talking about. I feel like I can already kind of see the handwriting on the wall. I feel like right now your person, they could be trying to rush in to, to heal a situation with a Sagittarian. I mean, this, these cards can, you know, really say that, yeah. And this Three of Swords is like healing a situation. It is not the typical Three of Swords, uh, Scorpio. No, it's not. Or Scorpio's person. And challenging them or actually influencing them, crossing, what have you, is the Five of Wands. Why is that there? Five of, uh, what have you is like, that's really old school, right? It's like your grandma used to say stuff like that, what have you. <laughs> OMG, um, let's see, so challenging or crossing, influencing, uh, your person is the five and the six of wands and the queen of wands in the reverse, this is what I mean, I, that's why I feel like this is a Sagittarian over here, temperance, yeah, this is the card of Sagittarius and I feel like it is, I feel like they want to have victory, yeah, I feel like your person wants to have victory with a Sagittarian, and it could be a third party over here, of course, right, with the three of swords, Sometimes that means simply heartbreak, right? But for some reason I'm not I'm not feeling that right now. The full card, yeah, I feel like they want to take a leap of faith. They want the courage. They want a new start with this Sagittarian. This is how this looks, Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles is probably your person. That's in the root. Why is that there? This is an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I feel like they're thinking about it. Maybe Four of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. They could be dwelling or like uh, reflecting on the Sagittarian Wheel of Fortune. This could also be about how things are going to go. This could be you, the tower, right next to the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe you next to a Sag, possibly. But I feel like they are reflecting on a situation uh, about them and a tower moment and about you as well, Scorpio. Of course, right? Yeah. And the Page of Cups. And the Four of Swords could be healing. And this Three of Swords is healing. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Because the swords are out of the heart. Yeah, the swords are down here. Yeah, I feel like they are. And, you know, the bandage is around the heart. Mm -hmm. And, like, in the clouds, kind of like, wow, it's raining here, too. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting here. Somebody could be uh, shedding tears over a situation, or they have shed tears in the past. I feel like that's what that is. Somebody has cried about this in the past. Yeah, they have. Could be you, could be your person, could be the other person. This is already a third party reading, right? For sure. Mm -hmm. I feel like your person, they could be thinking of offering their cup to the Sagittarian. Page of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and bringing down the tower, like ending a situation. Because they have a secret with the oyster. Your person's hiding a secret. Yeah, they are. And the four Eight of Cups is in the past. Why is that Eight of Cups in the past? It's the recent past. Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, Star card in the reverse, and the Chariot card. This could be, uh, this is supposed to be the recent past. I just feel like somebody left a situation. They could have felt uninspired and was lacking, were lacking faith in a situation. Why is, why is the chariot there? This is Cancerian energy. Queen of Swords. Yeah, this completes it. So in the past, I feel like this could be you or them, but I feel like it's them discerning a matter on how to, how to walk away and how to have victory at the same time. Wow. Crowning their thoughts is the Two of Pentacles, and this is a decision. Typically, why is that Two of Pentacles there? It could be a choice between two people. Five of Pentacles, the Hermit card. So this is your person crowning their thoughts. For uh, most of you guys are dealing, or most of you, you know, most of you are dealing with a Virgo because the Queen of Pentacles is right in the root. And here's the Hermit card. They're thinking of leaving you out here. They are. Okay, Scorpio, just... I just want you to know so you can have a leg up, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe you, maybe that gives you some leverage in a way. In the near future is the Eight of Pentacles, Scorpio, and this is in their near future. And interestingly enough, the Three of Pentacles is on the bottom. Like, this is like their project here. And they have made these other pentacles as well. This is like a, he's a goldsmith, right? For any of you guys who kind of know what that, I don't mean, I feel like they don't even teach that stuff anymore. <laughs> what a goldsmith was, or a blacksmith, I feel like they don't teach that anymore. Because it's so long ago, which is kind of ridiculoso, but it's how it is now. Why is that page of wands there? It doesn't matter. There's still people who... There's still, there's still a place for this, right? Yeah, there's still a place. And Eight of Swords is in the reverse. This is in the near future. I feel like they're walking away here, uh, Scorpio. Releasing themselves from feeling stuck about it. From this emotional, uh, mental trap that they felt about it. They're releasing themselves here. Yeah, they are. They could have been thinking about walking away for a long time. I feel like they're giving up. They're, they're just giving up the plight. Like, I'm, I'm going to go do this. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm just going to go try. I'm going to, yeah. I feel like that's what that is. I've, because in the past, they were thinking about doing it. Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups, right? They were thinking about leaving a situation. And they know they have to bring down the tower to go to this other person. Maybe who is probably a Sagittarian, they could be telling them, you know, you're full of it, okay? You've lied in the past, you were married, you were with somebody. You're going to have to prove you've changed. I feel like that's part of the dynamic here, because I feel like they are concerned here. I feel like they want to heal it with this person. And they're trying to have the courage here. I feel like they are trying to gather their courage here to go do it. They could feel a struggle. Five of Wands, they could. This is usually dropping the competition, though, in this deck. But it could still be a struggle between people. 
because they are thinking of bringing down the tower to go towards this person and they were uh, maybe they are healing from it they could have walked away in the past for some of you guys eight of cups first card out I feel like they are just discerning it And in their desire, in their fears, sorry, their fears or their emotional concerns, all right? Why is that nine of pentacles there? King of swords, sun card. They're, so they're afraid if they become single, are they really going to have success with this other person? Yes. It, are they going to be happy if they, you know, pull down the tower and end it with you, Scorpio? Three of cups, yep, it's about a third party, magician. I feel like this person was a player too, right? Yeah. And in their environment is the Ten of Cups. Why is that there? Four of Pentacles. This is in their environment. And the Page of Pentacles. You could be trying to really hold on to them, Scorpio. You could. I feel like there's an ending that is imminent here. For some of you guys who are trying to hold on to you, right? Maybe this could be you. But this is their reading, and this is how this looks, right? Sometimes in a love reading, it's, it's a little bit hard to tell who's kind of, you know, doing doing it to the other person. But this is their reading, their reading first. I feel like this is them. I feel like in their environment, I feel like you're trying to hold on to them, Scorpio. But I feel like there's an ending imminent. Yeah, because this person, this King of Pentacles person has a secret that they are, like, conspiring, right? Yeah, they are. And the Queen of Cups is in their desire. This is you, most likely. Maybe it is love. Why do they desire? Or this is their hope or their desire. Yeah, why is that Queen of Cups there? Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. This is what they want. Ace of Wands, they want a new beginning. Why do they want the Ace of Wands? This could simply be about love, but uh, let me get another card. I don't feel like this is done here, if it. King of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Moon card. I feel like they want this new beginning. Ace of Wands next to the Hierophant and the, and the King of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like they want this, but they have fear. I feel like up here in their desire, they're, they could be looking at this Ten of Pentacles. I feel like your person here is like in their hopes. I feel like right now, though, or their desires. I feel like right now they, they could be looking at a marriage right now, possibly with you, and just kind of guarded and jaded and wounded. I feel like it is all they're doing, though. That's kind of what I'm thinking here because they, they want to be with this other person. We're going to go over to Vimeo and find out more about them. Yeah, we are. We're going to pull some... Uh, Kipper fortune telling cards or the Lenormans. Yeah, we are. And um, because they're both so fun. Yeah, they are, dude. <laughs> and we're going to talk about the underlying issues and also how they are feeling about you. The challenge or the blocks for you, uh, not for them, is typically for you. Sometimes it is for them. I, I have to see it to find out. And what they're hiding from you, Scorpio, what they're fearing and the actions they're going to take or their outcome. Over on Vimeo, that's where the tell-all lives. All the extended readings are super affordable. If you guys got a message, please give a thumbs up. And the best way, right, is to get your own reading. Thank you so much.